Welcome to meeting of the select board for Monday, August 12th. <coughs> Call the meeting to order. Um, Erica, if you're okay with it, uh, we can move on to new business to discuss the Festival of the Hills parking. Yes, Camilla's here. I think we should um, start there. Hey, Elaine. Well, thank you for having me. Um, I'm Camille Balestri, and I represent the um, Logistics Committee on the Festival of the Hills. Parking, porta potties, tents. Um, but the parking is an issue this year because um, the Reeds Field is not available to us. So, after much discussion and review, we thought possibly South Meadow could be an option. And um, I contacted the focus on the Concom Committee as well as the Open Space Committee. And what was recommended was that we. Um, presented to the select board asking you to uh, bring it to the um, natural heritage because they're in charge of it um, and ask them for permission. So I scoped out the property and um, you know it's pretty large. You can see where you can come in off of Shelburne Falls Road and come down. So part of this Outside the yellow line is the um, somebody else's private property, and then and then there's the South River Meadow. Um, the parking would be essentially just half, not even half of the meadow. Um, I've circled this other map. It would probably accommodate 120 cars just in this small area, um, and I would have to ask the. Uh, the Eugens to park some there, mm -hmm. but uh, there's a walking path here and then a driving path further south, and uh, and so I don't know if you, um, the select board, would like to present it to the <laughs> natural heritage. It can be kind of wet there. It's not actually. I spoke to. I mean, uh, I walk there almost every day. Well, I spoke to Jason Silverman, who had just. Um, uh, hated, hated. Yeah. and yeah. Um, and he tells me it is very dry for the most part unless it's a heavy heavy rain this section and here holds a lot of water and is very gooey along this edge this is very Chris and, and Jim's property is very dry and down here is pretty good but this edge here there's a lot of wetland grass and stuff in here yeah and so this is a definitely I'm just saying this is a better option because it stays drier. Well, we we will be using that option yeah. for sure. Um, I know the Reeds Field, you know, has been wet. That's Believe true. Me, it's been really wet. That's true. Um, but and Jason said that he would probably have a third cutting before, definitely before then. Oh, okay. Um, and then, so. So, so the natural heritage. What is it so exactly? they're apparently in charge of it. So, so yeah, this is this is the organization that um, I have to get the permission from when we do anything that's in the South River. So okay. the culvert that was just done on Shelburne Falls Road, I had to have a MISA checklist review. So I have the contacts there, and I would just give them an email and ask them, okay. what do we do to get permission to do this? So just we have to have the select board direct you to? Yeah. Probably yeah. three hundred dollars yeah. <laughs> for the Mesa review. Well, you know, I mean, the festival, board, honey. the festival, we could ask for donations. <laughs> Although we might have to do a, sh a little shuttle too. It's a quarter mile from there to here, um, yeah. so it's going to be a little bit of a walk. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Just that small stretch of Shelburne Falls Road where there's no walking path, no. Um, yeah. Uh, sidewalk. Right. And so, you know, once we know what we can do with the parking, we'll be bringing in Don Bates to talk about how to facilitate safety in one way streets or whatever. You know, I don't know. Got it. I don't know what I'm do with that. He definitely will help us out. Okay. So, is that okay? Yeah, do we have to make a motion or can we just, I mean, it's 
I, I think it makes sense to me. Like it's, if we need to get yeah, it's permission. Fine with me. I'm happy to check with okay. the It makes sense. Around. I'm just curious. Did the committee talk directly to the landowner about the Reese Field? Um, well, uh, yes. Sue uh, McDonald talks to them, and uh, you know, it's a whole. The, the animals are taking over much of the field, and we don't want to put the animals back. Yeah. You know, I mean, it just doesn't. Well, they move those fences every day. I mean, I was thinking of like maybe we could get a group of people to help. Up. I mean, it's for like a day and a half. You know, hard enough to get volunteers to <laughs> to do the stakes and the roping in that parking lot that I did oh, right here. Okay. But I mean, I totally respect I, your experience <laughs> there. <laughs> um, but Sue, you know, has talked to me. I'll talk to her again. Um, so not the renter, the owner of the property. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, she has spoken to the owner. The owner. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So are um, are the Eugens yeah. willing to let us use? Part I don't of that know. I, mean, as well? I didn't realize this was. Uh, I didn't know this designation, and so I thought it was all South River. Yeah, I did. So I'll ask uh, Chris Eugen. I'll ask her on the pickleball field. <laughs> exactly. Oh no, she's on the golf. She's on the yeah. golf. Not until winter, <laughs> but I can ask her. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm more than happy yeah, to do yeah. that. If I can have the one back that had the this one. Yes, that one. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for all your work on this. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> all right. Have a good night. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, um, we can move to the top of the agenda. Uh, vote to approve minutes of July 29th. I unfortunately don't have these in front of me, so I'm going to have to rely on YouTube to. <laughs> they look fine to me. I move that we approve the minutes of July 29th. Uh, second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Aye. Aye. Unanimous. All right, uh, moving on to next uh, item on the agenda, the warrants. Um, I did look through these, uh, nothing popped out. Looks pretty standard for what we've been seeing. So um, I'll make a motion to approve the accounts payable warrant, um, the payroll warrant and the payroll reduction warrant. We don't have sums on here, which is strange. Veronique. Oh. You don't have the most recent one? Oh, you have, yeah. Oh. You have the working that. version, probably, that I sent I, out. I can, do you want me to, I, I have the other Do you want me to read those out? Is that yeah, if you don't mind. Okay, yeah. Um, accounts payable warrant in the amount of $173,882.26. Payroll warrant in the amount of $116,233.25. And payroll deduction warrant, um, $27,965.54. Great. Is that a motion, Erica? Yes. Second. All right. I'll, uh, I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Uh, next on the agenda, meetings attended by select board members. Um, none since our last meeting for me. Okay. Any for you, Elaine? Nope. Nothing for me. All right, I had, had nothing official. I did meet up with the highway super and um, the uh, fire chief and the uh, <laughs> chief of police too, but it was just to check in. No, uh, no log meetings. Um, public comments, doesn't look like we have anybody here. Uh, nothing for unfinished business, so we'll move on to the big item, new business. Um, first, Item on the new business is to vote to sign the state primary warrant. Um, did you all want to go through that? It's pretty boiler. Yeah, I looked it over. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I move that we uh, sign the state primary warrant. I uh, second. Yep. Anyways. Great. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, yeah, really nothing there to talk about um okay let's move on to the one i'm 
very happy about. Discussion and vote on the contract with RTE for the street light study. So I should just this mention, a, sorry, to you that yep. this has been reviewed by town council. However, RTE hasn't gotten back to me with saying whether or not they're going to approve what town council did. So I figure if you want to go ahead and sign this tonight, if they want to hash out some changes later, um, you know, I could send this to him tomorrow, signed, and just say, here. Um, but he hasn't, you know, he hasn't had a chance to get back to me. So this is what the town council edits that RTE is, has not reviewed? Right, before. so this was the RTE contract that they sent to me with a couple of changes that I wanted, and then I sent it to town council, and town council reviewed it, and this is the one that she reviewed. So, does it have the total value of the contract in here? It does, right? It should this, have a not yeah, to exceed. Yeah, it's got a not it, to exceed. It shows exceed. that you can't max out at, okay. that, at the value. That was one of the things I had to add in, that it was a not to exceed yeah. amount. Right. So it's 9950, which was what the town meeting voted. Right. There we go. So if we move to approve this, and then they also sign it and we're done, basically. Yes, okay. exactly. Yep. All right. Is this the person that does Shelburne Falls? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was just looking at, the, I read <laughs> very thoroughly through the termination because that's where, and the dis dispute uh, uh, resolutions, because that's where I always want to just make sure that there's nothing in there that would, um, make us have to pay if work wasn't completed. So it all looked good to me. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make a motion for the agreement with RTE Energy Solutions in the town of Conway. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 This, Aye. this one is just my yeah. purpose, so I'll okay. do that. So that'll be in your packet for you to sign, Chris. Sure, I'll come in tomorrow. Okay, uh, next on the agenda, which we should probably read through given um, the subject, is the discussion and vote on pub public comment policy. Mm -hmm. um, so if you all don't mind, I'm just going to read through the policy so everyone watching is aware. Okay, Town of Conway Select Board Public Comment Policy. Select Board may reserve time for public comments on its open meeting agenda at each meeting. The purpose of the public comment period is to bring matters of public interest to the attention of the board. Public comment sessions are for speakers to address the board on matters that are not related to any other agenda, agenda item. If a speaker wishes to address the board on a matter related to an agenda item, the chair may accept public comment when the agenda item is reached during the meeting. Persons may speak upon the permission of the chair of the select board and must stop speaking upon request of the chair. Individuals should identify themselves by full name. During public comment portions of a meeting, members of the public are allowed up to two minutes to speak, may speak only once and only when recognized by the chair and may not yield time to another speaker. Public comment sessions are limited to 15 minutes total. Redundant comments are discouraged. If multiple speakers wish to talk on the same subject, they're encouraged to choose one spokesperson. All speakers must present their remarks in an orderly and peaceable manner without disruption to other speakers. Speakers are further encouraged to respect the views and opinions of others, including members of the select board and the general public. Public comment is not intended for select board debate with the general public nor meant to answer questions without the time needed for, a prop for proper research. Answers may be provided as soon as possible to the inquiring party. It is the chair's responsibility to ensure that personal matters are not discussed. It's a big one right there at the end. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> did either of you have any comments or questions on this policy? I do not. Um, I think this is it's very very restrictive but you know 
seems I think we can always vote to extend yeah. um, discussions. Yeah. But it has to you have to make the vote to extend it just like we would at town meeting. Yeah. And oh. it's also it's it's comparable to other policies. Right. That it's we very similar. State. Yeah. We just we didn't have an official policy before, so um, I move that we adopt um, our policy on public comments as presented. And I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Uh, next on the agenda, EV1, vote to appoint Louise Beckett to the Conway Currents Newsletter Committee through a period ending in uh, June 30th of 2027. I move to appoint I Louise. I uh, second. To that committee. And thank her for her All service. All in favor? Aye. 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 Congrats, Louise. <laughs> All right, vote to appoint Veronique Blanchard as animal control rep to sheriff's office through June 30th of 2025. So for a one year so, have term. You, have you been, I should remember this. But. I should have remembered it. It turns out, because I was asking them, oh, who's the rep for Conway? Not and he said, since? it's you, Veronique. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of a meeting. <laughs> but I thought, we're gonna put a ring on it? I thought it would be better if we did it as an official vote. Okay. Um, I move that we appoint Veronique Blanchard as animal control representative to the sheriff's office. Uh, second. 30, 2025. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 So you would still work with Dragon now, right? I mean, oh. yeah, like what? I'm so what this is, is this is the, the board. Um, there's a representative from each of the towns that is a board for the sheriff's office. And mm -hmm. um, that was one of the things that was in my TA update is that we met um, because Waitley had applied, just like we had done a couple years ago, Waitley applied to be a member and we had to vote whether or not to accept Waitley. So that was what I was there for. Okay. Um, you know, so it's, it's budget and other items like that. Got it. And and fortunately, right. because Waitley, we did accept Waitley. Now our assessment that's for this year went down. Say. That's <laughs> so. All right. Next on new business, vote to appoint election workers: uh, Catherine Whitcomb, Deborah Craven, Margaret Kennedy, Kathy Lamas, Michelle Harris, Amy Anderson, Phyllis Stacy, Deborah Horton, and Dorothy Harris. Um, I move to appoint the election workers. Ms. Red. Aye. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you to those election workers. Yeah, see yes, a lot of names they are. Been there before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next on new business, vote to appoint Heidi Flanders as Assistant Emergency Manager Director. Uh, uh, this is right. They, that position vacated by Bill Cantor. Yeah. Correct. Um, I move to appoint Heidi Flanders as Assistant Emergency Management Director. She is, um, she's an EMT, I believe. She yeah. is, yeah, she's an EMT and she's been on the um, Fireman's Auxiliary for many years, so yep. she'll be great. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, unanimous. On. All right, uh, so yeah, Veronique, if we can discuss this one a little more, vote to approve a one-day beer and wine license for the library on August 29th. What's happening there? Do you want to take that? It's, uh, <laughs> what did she do? Is maybe some kind of art show, like a social thing. So they wanted to Is there have, a time limit on this? Yeah, they wanted to have wine. They wanted to have wine for it, so it'd be, I think... 6 to 11 p.m. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's like a little art show type, you know, social. Doesn't sound like a rowdy crowd, let's put it that way. Put on <laughs> by, by the Not library. like the senior yeah. prom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, put on by the library. So it's the, it's like the library trustees or whatever who's it's, asking well, for yeah. it. Yeah, and so they just want to have yeah. wine for... I guess you walk around and look at paintings with wine. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, are we invited? <laughs> <laughs> Don't see why not. 
Not if you don't get the license. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Good point. I will make a okay, motion. Uh, we approve the one day beer and wine license for the library's event on August 29th. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye, unanimous. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next agenda item. Items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. None here. Uh -huh. Town administrator updates. Veronique. I actually have quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, you, so sorry. you do. <laughs> good. Um, You've been busy. Good. <laughs> yeah, I've been busy. It's not good to be bored. <laughs> um, so, first thing, I did meet with um, Beth Giannini and Lori Scarborough at FERCOG. Um, there's the, what they call the TIP, the Transportation Improvement Program, which funnels federal monies, I think 80% of it is federal funds. And the FERCOG is involved in part of the decision making process for the list of which projects will get done when. They're already booked out five years. This is a long term, you know, get yourself in line mm -hmm. for a lot of money. In addition to do this, um, you have to have your project um, designed by a mass DOT approved road construction engineer. So there's a list of approved engineers we'd go through. So I thought, well, you know, if you don't get started, you never get anything. It's time for us to get on there. And in speaking with Ron, the biggest um, priority is stabilizing the banks on Shelburne Falls Road. And that's going to be a multi, multi million dollar project. So um, with the board's blessing, I'm going to go ahead and start preparing to apply next year to MassWorks, the same one we're waiting for on this year, but next year to MassWorks for a design grant so that we can pay for the engineer to design it. Um, don't we always use a Mass DOT approved? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I don't know the last time we did some road construction. To be honest okay. with you, it something just makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so so that would be the next step in the process is for me to apply next year for the design, and then the FERCOG will be working with me on getting this, you know, together and on the tip. And then once it's on the tip, hopefully, you know. It, it would be at least six years out before anything happened. Wow. But if we don't start now, we won't get on yeah. the list. Mm -hmm. So so that's that one. I just heard back, I think I sent this to you all today, again from the FERCOG. I reached out to them to see if they knew of any vendors who could do um, an Americans with Disabilities Act self-evaluation of the town. Now, Tom did this back in 2017, but it seems to me it's a little, it's been a yes. while. We need to redo it, and I wanted to especially focus again on this building since we're talking about getting the lift and everything in here but also um, with the emergency shelter and making sure that we are connected with everything we need to do to have folks um, be able to come into the emergency shelter so she just this afternoon sent me a proposal which they have just done something very similar with Ashfield so now I have what I need to apply on Monday for this grant oh great yeah. <laughs> Can I talk about that one? Sure, yeah. So I read through that proposal and I definitely have questions on it, especially the billing and what we're going to get from that proposal because the prices were pretty high. Um, so I, I would like to talk to Ashfield to see how it went with them. Sure. Um, I just, you know, we pay for a cog, right? And then we get, we get, um, uh, quotes like this that seem far-fetched at least what I read through so I just want to make sure that we're paying for something we need or the expectation of what we're paying for because it's a little confusing in that in that document so what this would be yes and I, I understand what you mean I we can go over what had been done before through Tom um, and did we pay for that assessment that Perkoff did the FERCOG didn't do it the last time. Okay. It was a different company. What I, what I have this for, to be perfectly honest with you, is simply to get numbers for a quote, because in the application I have to put in an amount. So at least I have an amount now I can put in. Mm -hmm. um, this wouldn't necessarily mean we'd have to use the FERCOG. Um, but, uh, what was the other thing I was gonna say, sorry. Um, 
anyway, yes, we can we can definitely talk about that. As a matter of fact, I think there's still some money left over from the last um, evaluation, and I think it's about four thousand dollars, and I think it had to do with putting in automatic doors and doing other work in here. Um, and you know, if we get the grant, then obviously that would pay for it. It wouldn't be the town paying for a cut, but we sh we can definitely get more details. On they this. are pricey, having put one in recently <laughs> at work. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, it's it's and but this is honestly just the self evaluation. This yeah. is something that will just list out for us all the steps we need to take. Right. Um, so. You know, and maybe I can get it, talk it down because they could use the previous one as a really good yeah. base. Um, anyway, so that's something. I, I looked through the community compact grants, and right now I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to apply for. Um, but this one, I think the more work we can do and the more we can show we're trying to get compliant, the better. Yeah, I just want to make sure we're not paying somebody to come here and measure a hallway or a doorway when we can do that ourselves, you know? True, true, yep. Um, so the next one is um, the transfer station. You all have folders in front of you. Big caveat, this is not um, how it would look in the end, but I wanted to give you all an idea of what I was thinking to send to residents. So basically, you know, I, I go through, it would be information on trash, it would be our fee schedule, how to apply for the sticker, how to load your car, the direction you go in the transfer station, um, all the different materials we take and their regulations. Basically, I was thinking it'd be nice for each resident to have a packet that they could just throw in a drawer and if they had a question, they looked at it. So, that's my thought. <laughs> And there is not a swap shop brochure in here yet. That's one that Kathy Lamas will be working on for us about rules for the Conway Mall. And, you know, some of these things will be changing. Um, if the board decides to review bulky prices, and I believe Janamine is available September 9th, if you wish to do that then. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Please, we really need to get that done. Yeah, so there are obviously things that are going to change. If you all decide to change the number of bag stickers given out, that would change. You know, So there's a lot of things that will... The, the one I really didn't have time to work on yet was the veggie oil. i got to put something together for that. So I just gave you what was put on the drum and then the Western Mass Recycling brochure so you could see... Um, I'm sorry, not Western, uh, rendering. So anyway, just something to peruse, and I'm all ears for how to do this or how to make it more accessible and interesting for people. You know, everything on format. Should we stick in dividers? What should we, you know, how should we do this? So. I think it's a great idea. I just, I'm just worried that this is something people are going to stick in a recycling, or trash can. <laughs> or recycling, I mean, it's... All of this information, like, yeah. has been like that's provided at the transfer station. Well, the, I, it hasn't been well, provided I mean, yeah. like this. We haven't right. done the the layout. We haven't done how to load your car. Yeah, there's a number of things, and you know, we could just give it out at the transfer station. By the way, we can use recycling dividend program funds mm -hmm. for this. So, and that's a great use for it. But those are all the things that I want you all to think yeah. about: is what's the best way to approach making sure all this information gets into their hands. A viral video. <laughs> I used to do yeah. those. You know. I'm, I'm with Erica that if you give them this month's information, one, they're not going to read it and they'll throw it away because it's just be. overload. So Could I be. think having it at the transfer station to be available to, for, to hand out to people if they request it is great. Um, but otherwise, we're just creating more trash. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I mean, I wouldn't want to like mail this to like town residents i don't feel like that would be a good use of funds but um i know that my kids school had a really difficult parking lot <laughs> and there was like a video like a parking video that some of the students made one year that was like this is how you park this is how you do drop off this is how you do pick up um it was very effective every year at the beginning of the year that school shares that video like this is you know this is how you drop your obviously transfer station is a little more complicated than that but 
and we don't have the capacity to produce a viral video, but well, I, but uh, well, you, you know, know what we do you. have? We do have somebody yeah, we sitting do. with us yes. right now yeah. who did this before. So <laughs> I had talked with Jonathan a little bit about making some videos. I did actually, I did exactly that with this information in. South Hadley when I was there and made a video and just walked through the transfer station and showed them all what to do. I'm not sure I have time to do that these days. I don't know, what if we get some frontier kids and but, like an art class, you know, to, you know. But we'd have, to, come in. we'd have to script it too, that's yeah, the problem. Yeah, no, we can, but, but we can totally time. script that. I mean, I, yeah. I feel like, um, yeah. Sure. I think we should just think more about creative ways to disseminate this information. Great. But I do, but yeah, I, I agree with Chris, like, have something like this available for people to take when they're there, but I, but I think just sending it out to people is gonna, you know. Hopefully they'll recycle it <laughs> after does, they read it. Does somebody who's like diabetic who has to have multiple shots a day, they they have to have a their own box to recycle their the you mean the charts? Yeah. 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 I bet that doesn't happen. I don't know. We do have the Sharps program, and that's information that's in there. That's but <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, my wife has to take quite a bit, like not daily, but weekly. Mm -hmm. um, but we drop them off at the at the pharmacy. Cause pharmacies take them too. I mean, maybe it could be something where we condense it down to say, because I bet a lot of people don't even know we take cooking oil and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe we condense that. something to. A smaller mailer that's just like this is the layout these are all the materials we take and then have the background and say if you want information on any of these just get it from the transfer station attendants when you're there yeah and put that in the current I don't know, like fun dump fact of the week <laughs> of the, of the month when you put it in the current so yeah. have a whole dump section <laughs> well I used to do a column on that like that <laughs> yeah I don't I don't think it got much traction but yeah. Okay. One so thing I saw here, which I was surprised about, because I know some other towns take kitty litter for compost. We don't. You should never put kitty litter in compost. Okay. Like it's, 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 it's no. It's actually certain chemicals that are in cat urine that you don't want to yeah. have. Ammonia. No, no. It's something else, and actually, pregnant women shouldn't be around oh, it, and you just yeah, yeah, yeah. don't want kitty litter. You don't want to buy compost from somebody who's putting kitty litter in it for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, quickly going through the rest, the assessors, George and I worked quite a bit on getting that um, request for a proposal together. It went out and I sent it out. Proposals are due back at 2 o'clock on the 26th to me. I will be there. The vendors are supposed to give a price proposal and a non-price proposal because the assessors can use the non-price as their decision-making guide. So I'll be holding onto the prices until they've reviewed everything, okay. and then I give them the prices. And so, it, so in other words, it yeah. doesn't have to be lowest bidder. Right. That's okay. basically what it comes down to. I will be going on the 30th to the FERCOG when the um, IFB is due back um, for the opening, for the official opening, just to see. So I'll be able to report back on September 9th to you all about the public building's bids. Um, I'm going to create this working group for um, different IT vendors. When we had our assessment done, um, one of the, you know, everything was glowing as far as what Roy has done for us with security and, you know, we're in great shape, but the huge sort of gap was that um, he's just one person, so if something happens, we're in trouble. Um, and in speaking with Roy, he was like, yeah, no, it's fine. He's ready to kind of back away from some of his customers. So he's going to help us transition mm. and will help us review companies to take over for FY26. Okay. So I thought if, you know, people like Adam and Lori and Lori and Jan, people who use the system all the time every day, I want them to have input in mm -hmm. what's going to So I'll be putting that together. Mm -hmm. Um, we did find out, I don't even remember how, <laughs> recently that the select board is legally supposed to appoint fence viewers. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've been trying to recruit uh, a couple of... <laughs> okay. Um, so, and I thought the history that, that Donna gave us on that was really particularly interesting that this has been around since the 1600s, yeah. so, you know. 
Anyway, um, and it's still on the books. So um, Chris had asked me to reach out to the Zoning Board of Appeals to see if anybody there, you know, typically I would say if we had members on the Agriculture Commission, that might make sense for mm -hmm. them to be fence viewers, but we don't have anybody, so. Well, I know some young people who've recently moved to town and trying to get excited oh. about town governments, and okay. I hit them up really hard. <laughs> They're not yet registered to vote in Conant, Ben Conant. They're registered elsewhere because they just recently moved to town, but I'm like, switch your voter registration, and then you too can view a fence. There you go. And they were kind of psyched about it, so. Great. <laughs> I'm working Great. at ankle. <laughs> Especially since, well, I mean, we, I, we haven't had an issue come up. Right, I This know. is just something that I've, we found out we were supposed to have. Wait, wait till we get our first spike fence. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, that's great. Thank you. Um, all right, so, and I'm sure at this point everybody knows that Shelburne Falls Culvert was replaced. I, they're still out there doing some work. And I already mentioned to you about the ACO. Um, last... Uh, Last meeting is what I meant to say. The last meeting, the question came up whether junior firefighters from out of town get the same coverage, and yes, they do. I did speak with. Not just, I thought it was not junior firefighters, just any firefighters. Well, actually, any. Or like any volunteer yeah, firefighters. Yeah, anybody who's from out yeah. of town is still covered. Okay. Yeah. So, did we tell Chief? Um, I can't, I think I did. I'll, I'll make a note to make sure that I do. <laughs> um, there was just something that I found which I didn't realize even included Conway businesses, so I just put it in there, the shelburneandfalls.com, and we actually have some Conway businesses who are advertising on there because they're, they're incorporating a lot of towns into that website, so I just thought that was interesting. Should we advertise for road workers? Highway <laughs> <laughs> staff? I know, did they have a yeah, help wanted board? Um, well, this is more of like a visitor thing yeah. to oh, do okay. and all that mm -hmm. kind of, yeah. Okay. And then the FERCOG did host a meeting. Um, we talked about this at the meeting um, last month sometime where there was going to, there was talk about increasing the electric capacity going from New York to Northfield and that will impact Conway because they're talking about potentially widening um, the right of ways that are going on to be able to get more electricity through these areas. So the FERCOG hosted a meeting with um, our representatives in Eversource just to have an initial discussion about that. So they'll be giving us more information. They're supposed to be sending us some um, documents that I'll forward on to you. Just to let you know, it's, it's, this is the Department of Energy that's, mm -hmm. you know, in charge of this. So FERCOG is, and Eversource are both giving their feedback to mm -hmm. DOE. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And other than being on vacation next week, that's it. <laughs> Yay. <Great. laughs> Great, thank you. Is the highway department making any progress with interviews or hiring or applicants? No, I no, we did not get anything from um, the currents or from the recorder. I did post just recently on Indeed, and we have one person that Ron wants to interview. Okay. So we're going to get There's back also to also a westernmass.com, which is a jobs thing. Westernmass.com, Western Mass. okay, Mass. I can try that. I hear them on the radio all the time. But indeed, is still kind of where everybody goes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you, Veronique. Um, next item: select board member comments or concerns. Any? The moment, no. Okay, um, great. Are are we? We had some letters that need response who do we do that or letters about oh you're talking about mail yeah reeds bridge well road. They, oh <coughs> right yeah you mean the bridge mm -hmm. yeah okay. yes so i did respond and we're meeting um grace and i um there at nine o'clock on wednesday so oh, okay. i let her know that i'll be reaching out to her after that is that the one that used to be Fred and Jeans? Adam? Hmm? Is that who used to be Fred and Jeans? What the? Is that the property? Where they had the 
It's the she said that the base of the Reed's Bridge. All the wisteria that's growing there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. That used to be a restaurant yeah. called Fred and Dee's. Yeah. Not before my time, but I know it still lived on. And, and so that's, that's where they're concerned about the erosion. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that is a, there's a ton of erosion there. Yeah. I'm not sure it was from the bridge construction, but it's definitely, I mean, that whole. I mean, it's just, it's the river. There's that <laughs> river is just the, it's kind of mind boggling, really, the erosion of, because I walk it so frequently. Mm -hmm. Like it's, you know, you'll be there one day and two days later, a whole another section's fallen in. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it used to be a road, a cornfield, a road, mm -hmm. not a road, but you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but there used to be a little beach. Yeah. When my aunt built her house out back. Yeah. When I was a kid, like my, my cousin and I could walk out, you could put a towel down, and yeah. now the river's <laughs> almost yeah, in the summer. Right. <laughs> But it's it's very much changed. It's changed its course. Mm -hmm. Like it's come in and mm -hmm. is taking the bank down, and it's like it used to sort of swing out, and now it's basically just going right through it. Like took down a big apple tree, you know, and then you get to like the oxbow before the big dam, yeah. um, and that whole area's changed. I mean, yeah. that river's just changing drastically all the time so. but I it definitely would but you can see there's the houses that are on it you can see their yeah. <laughs> precarious position yeah it's like that. yeah all right well good we're responding to them okay um, no mail no announcements uh, anybody have anything else they would like to discuss? Oh, okay. uh, great! I mean, so next meeting, we d I did stop. I did b stop by Baker's. I knew you were there. Yes. I know you were going to stop by at the last thing. They did get a letter from the state saying the state wasn't going to be responsible. I think on Thursday they got that, um, but they're trying. People are being very much community minded and helping with donating money through GoFundMe or just that Greenfield Savings because GoFundMe has a percentage yeah. they take off of donations. Um, but they're definitely, you know, they stop gas. They stop selling gas. Yeah, which is huge. Um, yep. Because yeah, I talked about them last week. Yeah. So it's just a big it's a deal for the community. It is. It's huge, and I, you know, I, I called a few people and let them know that as well. I talked to Natalie, and she's very aware of um, uh, the the impact of not having bakers would be on this community. So it's a sad situation. Like you said, that riverbank is just it's just eroding everywhere. Uh, okay, um, next meeting is going to be August 26th. Uh, if there's nothing further, I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. I probably will not. I'll let you know if I'm going to be there. Clayton leaves for school. Oh. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Great. Yeah, thank you all. Thanks, Appreciate Chris. it.